Hello, YouTube. Uh, I have you purposely face this direction and not that direction because I don't want, I'm not ready to uh, reveal our update. We still have one big project left to do that we're going to actually be doing over the Easter holiday. Hopefully we'll get it done. I don't know. But um, when it is done, I will reveal that and my budget. But today I wanted to discuss um, my money saving tip. Now, my money saving tip um, originated, uh, I started a couple decades ago when I was a single mom and I needed a way to save money for my daughter's Christmas fund and, and field trips and everything else that came up. And I wasn't making very much money and when uh, that is putting it mildly, we were, we were poor. Um, and so this is what I've done. And since then, I've turned it into our vacation and camping fund. And I have so many people comment on it when I'm at the grocery store and just my family and friends that know me, I thought I'd share my tip with you. So what I do to save some money, and you can see it adds up, is every week when I go to the grocery store, I use coupons and I write a check. It's the only place I ever write a check. But I write a check for whatever my balance was before my coupons and I pocket the cash and I bring it home and I save it. Um, now I want to say that I am not one of those coupon people that like print coupons off the internet. I don't, sp I, I'm not a, um, like I don't hoard the stuff, I don't have a stash or anything like that. I spend no more than 30 minutes a, m a week um, making up my meal plan, checking my local grocery store ad. I only go to one grocery store and then um, pulling the coupons that I have or clipping them from the Sunday paper. That's all I do. And I may only make $5 one week and the next week I may save $45 in coupons. But this, this little stash here of coupon money is $1,705. And this is, this is for our camping trips. This is just so I, no money's coming out of our pocket. It's for whatever, it's fun money. But this is, a, you know, not even a year's worth of savings. I started it at the end of last camping season, which would have been like, you know, September. Um, and I had a little bit left over from last season and I just keep adding to it and adding to it. But I'm telling you, it really, really works and you can save a lot of money. The second tip I have, and I started this about five years ago, let me get my little sidekick here, Carly, is um, every week when I go to the grocery store, I buy $25 in gift cards. Um, and I put them away for gifts because I got tired of having to run to the store to pick up a birthday gift or an anniversary gift, but mainly Christmas time because I'm the one that ends up having to do all the wrapping. So that I'm telling you that that adds up also, and it's like nothing. It's not $25 a week. People used to do a Christmas fund. This is what I do, and it saves and adds up quickly. I have $490 worth of gift cards just because every time I go to Walmart, I bought a $25 gift card when I went there and I put it away. I like to buy these little $10 gift cards and $15 gift cards for the kids um, that are in college, my kid, my friends' kids that are in college so that, you know, they don't have to pay for that kind of stuff. But I'm telling you that it is an easy way to save money. It's, you know, you're going to the grocery store anyway. It really adds up. And if you want to find a way to put some money away and you're not good at saving money, I'm telling you, it works. Um, the next time you talk to me or that you see me, you're going to see the rest of the house. But for right now, that's what I wanted to share with you. And please share whatever you'd like to share with me in the comment section below. And if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Take care, everybody. Have a great day and a very happy Easter. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.